This is an Eterna vintage Swiss watch from 1942. It's a hand winding watch featuring the Eterna 852 hand winding movement. And it's Swiss made by, as I said at the beginning, Eterna, who are a well established, well known uh, Swiss watchmaking brand. So this watch, 1942, so that's 78 years old. And it's remarkable, absolutely incredible piece, this one. We're going to have a look at it together. So just down the bottom, it says Swiss, you can see there, that's six Swiss. And the sub-dial for the seconds, ticking away nicely, with a little black second hand. And the hour and the minute hand are um, black filled with loom. I don't know if they would have been originally black, maybe they would have been shiny steel. I'm not sure. Um, but the patina over the years has uh, created the watch that we see today with uh, those black sort of syringe arrow hands. They're not arrows, are they? I'd say they're sort of syringe needle uh, arrow minute hands. And the loom is um, has, has patinaed over the 78 years as well as the rest of the watch. And uh, the loom is, is, so it'll be radium in there, radium loom mixed with some paint which would have uh, glowed in the, in the early days of this watch's life. Uh, there's no glow at all now, none whatsoever. Uh, the radium is still there and the has, has aged very gracefully. Um, there's uh, a sort of, it's a, a very sort of pale, hmm, it's difficult to say, pale beige, uh, dirty beige colour. And the, what I like about this particular example is the loom on the hands totally matches the loom on the on the, um, the dial. And I like the way the loom on the 9 and the 8 and the 10, for example, ever so slightly different to the 7. So, I mean, it's, it's all related and it, it looks different from different angles as well. If we just move it round, you see the, the loom on the 8. You see, just that's just the way it's aged over the years. And then the dial itself, I'm going to just see if I can focus as close as possible. The dial itself has this sort of crackled, um, crackled gold effect happening. It's difficult to focus this close, uh, how, uh, that, that's quite good. That's really nice patina on that dial. So this Eterna has, has a, as I said, a, a, an Eterna 852 hand winding movement. The crown, it's just a, a straightforward unsigned crown, uh, which is which is correct for the for the year. Uh, but it's quite a big crown and it is very uh, easy to, to turn. Now I only wind this up 10 winds. Um, I don't want to overdo it or, or um, break anything inside. But 10 winds uh, is good for about 24, 30 hours. So the, the power reserve is great. Um, maybe you could get up to 40 hours if you fully wound it. I didn't I didn't want to experiment with that. But it keeps great time as well. Um, within sort of 10 seconds a day, uh, I would say, at least within a minute. It's, su it's absolutely superb. For something 78 years old, uh, it runs an absolute charm. I mean, it's as, as reliable as a modern watch. Obviously not, not quartz, but uh, as reliable as a modern hand-winding watch. The dial is pretty straightforward, isn't it? Uh, we've got uh, the, sorry, we've got the, the digits around the outside, minute track with the, uh, the little black markers at 5, 10, etc. Sub-seconds at 6, nice big sub-seconds at 6 replacing the six digit, but not cutting into the five or the seven. A lot of these watches with sub-seconds cut into the five and the seven a little. This leaves those perfectly intact, which is nice. The case itself is very straightforward, uh, slightly polished. Uh, in th this particular one hasn't been messed about with. Uh, it's got nice 
uh, sides and a little step for the bezel there. The lugs sweep down very nicely and are drilled, which makes strap changes an absolute doddle. The um, crystal is an acrylic crystal and it's beautifully domed right to the edge of the bezel. Can you see? Absolutely lovely. Let's give it a tap so you can hear. So that's a, an acrylic crystal, so that, that will buff out any light scratches nice and easy. Uh, but it's a it's really nice. I love the shape of that crystal. And as you can probably tell from the video, it, it reflects uh, quite, quite readily. Let's go to the back. And on the back, we have the, uh, the Eterna watch case back. I'll read it out to you, but you could probably read, read it yourself. Eterna, uh, the big Eterna logo at the top. Um, it's sort of an Art Deco uh, design, isn't it? The way it's been um, segmented off the information. So over here, we have waterproof imperméable, which is French for waterproof, anti-magnetic, uh, Swiss with the serial number, uh, Stay Bright Steel, so the steel that they used uh, was this little branded Stay Bright stuff, which uh, does seem to have stayed bright, which is pretty cool. Shock Absorber, Amortisseur, I can't quite read that. What does it say? Amortisseur de shock, which is uh, French for shock absorber. That's it. Sorry, that's that's the that's the back of the dial. The um, it's a screw down case back. Actually, sorry, not dial. The case back. That's the it's a screw down case back. Now I'm not going to open it up because um, this is a radium dialed watch, and I don't really want to uh, risk encountering any radium dust. But uh, it, inside, it's a beautiful sort of golden coloured Eterna 852 movement. If you search Google Images for Eterna 852 movement, you'll see pictures of it. Uh, well worth having a look at, actually. It's a very handsome movement. Now, this particular watch, this particular model, very unusual for its age uh, because it's so large. So it's um, across the dial there, it's 36, 36? Just a shade over 36 millimetres, uh, which for a watch from 1942 is large, very large. And the crown is big, isn't it? It's a big crown, which is perfect for um, for winding. It's, I mean, that's a good six millimetres, the crown. Now, the lug width is 19 millimetres. I've squeezed a 20 millimetre strap in there um, to no ill effect. Um, gives it a little bit more wrist presence. Um, the thickness of the watch is perhaps not easy to measure because of the domed crystal, but the case itself is six millimetres, and then up to the top of the dome, nine millimetres. So, sorry about the focusing there, folks. So, uh, a slender watch for a really nice wrist presence. Right, I'm just going to pop it on my wrist and show you what it looks like. Um, do, do bear with me a second whilst I manoeuvre it onto my wrist. Um, do, 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 a bit of music background there. <laughs> right there we go. So that's uh, that's it on my seven and a half inch wrist. Sorry, I've put the, I've put it on a little bit loose. There we go. It it wears beautifully. I I think absolutely lovely. The uh, the strap is new, so it's um. It is to get broken in a little, but um, there we go. I hope we have shown you everything and enough for you to be impressed by such a fantastic vintage piece. I mean, that's an antique, isn't it? And not only is it beautiful and vintage and all authentic, all genuine, you know, maybe the crystal's been replaced. I mean, the crystal is absolutely flawless, so... I'm going to say the crystal has been replaced, but everything else, as far as I can see, looks unadulterated. But it works like a modern watch. You can wear it. You can wear that and, and keep good time. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you staying with me till the end. Have a look around my channel and subscribe for more watch videos. I also do knives and EDC.
I'd appreciate a subscribe and a like and maybe a comment. We'll have a chat about this watch if you like. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.